so you don't get yourself confused with all the lines here. I'm going to go to the large there. Arrow stops right there. So we don't need this one and we don't need this one. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easy for me when I cut and I don't get confused, I'm going to just put this through the two that I don't need. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm getting rid of the extra, extra large and the extra large. So it then becomes quite apparent which lines I want to cut. Alright, okay. So here we go. So now we're just going to come in here and we're going to cut and same thing again here. We don't want these two. So it's just a little bit fine here so I'm just going to have to try and find the the, um, the the two that I don't want. So I'm onto the third line in here. It's very tricky, this part, but can be done. Here we are. Going around. Found our large line there. And we're going to follow that little line through. And onto the one line here. And we've actually, it has been shortened. There we go. And we come back over this side. Put in there. And you see I've tried to stay on, on the line to keep the pattern neat and tidy and, um, and not skew it. And there we go. I've got to apologise. <clears throat> I haven't had a manicure prying prior to doing this. Because we're busy women. We're busy women. I'm renovating a house at the same time. So my hands And are, our boys have just graduated. My hands 12. are shot. That's right. <laughs> our boys have just finished school and have just got their OPs. Fine. Now we're gonna do the same again here. We're going to take out the extra, extra large and the extra large and we're going to make it just that much easier for me to not deviate and go on to another, on to another line. Okay, so it's just as easy as that. All right. That's 150. So um, by the time I mark, and as you go up in size, sometimes if you need more fabric. So um, maybe the smaller sizes might use 1.4. Yeah. But the larger sizes will need more fabric. I think I've put them up so, by 0.2, like yeah. 20 centimeters for yeah. the larger. Which makes sense because then you add that onto this and it can, like 1.4 plus an extra 20 centimeters is 1.6. Mm-hmm. And we're at 150 here. So that's that's good. We're being economical with this. So now we're going to just make sure that um, the selvage is lined up in this part too. Um, I am a little bit of a perfectionist. I can't help myself. I've just got to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to mark up this. So we're going to go back to the selvage line here and that says 50, oh, I'm going to swap it over and do, so that's 20 and there is, uh -uh, it's out a bit there, so what we're going to do is swivel it a bit more and it's going to, right, let's try again, so that's 51, 
almost almost correct so um, running out of room here so I'm gonna have to go up slightly there so I can pivot it a bit more that way so now it's 51 and that's yeah Imperial Imperial 20 and almost 20 so I'm gonna pivot it there Perfect. Okay, I'm going to pin that this time. I'm going to pin it right there. And slightly. That's all right if it's only a little tiny tip there. That's okay. So it's, it's, just kind of it's just overlapping a bit. It's just overlapping slightly. Yeah. Although I could move it up a bit more. That's fine. Will I? No. Okay. It, it, if it's a tiny, tiny little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. You don't need a million pins, you really don't. Um. bring it up this way and I reckon that's pretty parallel I'm not going to get a take measure I'm just I just know that that's pretty parallel you're eyeballing it I am eyeballing it. <laughs> I think it comes with years of experience with um with lines but you know I think if you're if you've done art or you've done some kind of drawing or you know other professions I think yeah. you'd kind of uh, get a little bit of confidence oh, in doing yeah, the same yes. thing yeah. in sewing oh yeah i mean i can tell when something's out by a mill especially with tim's building yeah I'm right I can, yes from a distance so. Yes. okay so i'm just gonna zoom up there so if you have really sharp scissors and you want to do multiples you can line up your fabric over the top of each other and cut a couple of pairs at the same time if you want to be industrious. Um, which is I suppose the stage we're at. Alright, so here's our back pad. Now we've got to uh, work out which side of the fabric we're going to go with. Um, what like side, side would you, you like, like the darker? The, like you the can darker. sort of see there's the dark side and then there's the light side. Yeah. So now down here, we don't want that one and we don't want that one. No, no, yes and yes. Right, I'm going to pin right there like that. And then I'm going to pin this side. I don't want to make a hole. You can make a hole, but I don't want to make a hole. So what I'm gonna then I'm gonna come over here where that pin mark is, and I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark there. Pencil comes out. We all know pencil comes out in the washing. Yeah. So we've got the the light side and the yeah. dark side. The light side and dark side. So um, what we're gonna do is just pin that down like that. And this is when this is when we use pins, but we don't use too many of them. So we're going to put a pin there, and it's a centimeter turn back, mm -hmm. right? So if we just pin it back a centimeter, like that. Don't no need for stretching or doing any of that stuff with this. You just fold back gently, like that, and then you put a pin in there. And pin in here. Hey, that's super cool. I like the way you pinned that. So that makes it easier to pull it out while you're sewing it. Yeah, I love it. That's right. So that's what you do there. And then if you want to, you can even, but we, you don't have to do that. So when you go to sew, you just sew that line here. 
and you just sew in about two millimeters from the edge or, or one if you if you feel really like you're a good straight you know place the pocket so I'm just going to pin this pocket so we come down here and it's got a um, it's it's a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around and I'm using the warmth of my fingers being warm-blooded it's like a very gentle iron crease and I'm yeah I'm creasing Pressing it in with my warm little fingers. So, and then I'm going to just put a pin there. And a, ow. And then here. And come out here. I'm going to put a pin there. And Then I'm going to turn it over and this is something that um, you can all start to do is now I'm going to switch the pins over from that position there and move him to the outside like that. This is, you know when you're doing um, dress hems and when, you, when you're pinning and you get and you try to sew the dress hems if you leave the pins on the underside. They get caught all the time in the thread. So what you do, if you really don't want to catch the thread all the time, is remove the pins and put them to the outside. Yeah. So we've got to make sure that the fabric is nice, straight. And I put it down and pulled it this way and that way. It's just sitting nice and straight. And we're going to get this, the pockets, and we're going to so obviously it's what there it's in a centimeter and down we want to cover them up so we want to come in probably just half a centimeter above and and position it so it's centered just cover it there like that and then we grab these pins and let's just pretend you've sewn that line across there already mm. okay so that line's done and then you just get your pins that you've already pinned, you know, done the pocket. And that's right, this is the first thing you do is when you make these pants is to sew the patch pockets on first. Yes. So once that's on and you've done this side too, put it down like this, because there is nothing worse than sewing up your pants and you've done two right sides. So, so, what do you mean by two right to... sides? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by two right sides? Well, sometimes you can you can like you can just like accidentally accidentally yeah flip it and then you go oh my god I've just done two right sides yeah right so so this is the best way to do it here is just to lay them out like that and then get your fronts and find the right so we've got the the fabric the light um, side the, the, yeah. So we're matching them, making sure that we've got the right side on the inside. Unless you want your seams on the outside, we won't confuse you. That's so not trendy yet. Right and then now what we're going to do is we're going to put a pin in up here. This is where I'm trying to teach you to sew without using many pins. Then we're going to find the nick and we're going to put a pin where the nick is. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. And this is also a good way of checking that you've actually cut the right lines. Because if you have cut the wrong lines, you will be able to tell because that'll be longer. One of them will be longer. So, um, and then just put the pin in there. And that's where you stop. So, and then do the same to the other side. So again, just pin down here. 
here and there and you could probably put a pen in the middle. Okay, so it all fits quite nicely. So that's one leg ready to sew. And then you just do the same do on the, the other side. Do the same on the other side.